Happy Softball Sunday, folks. Let's get it on. <laughs> Campfire edition. Capo one if you want to play along with the song, but you can put the capo wherever you want or not use one depending on what works for your voice. Give me a D. Then we're gonna play D with an F sharp in the bass, the better man chord. Your middle finger is going to take over G string duty. And your pointer finger is gonna grab the other E string second fret. So you see it's still a D, we're just using this F sharp. We're not using that F sharp, we're using that F sharp instead. D, D with an F sharp in the bass, followed by G, and A, that is half the song. If you want to be a Mr. Fancy Pants, you can add this little riff in there. After the A. Open two hammer on, on the A string. Pluck your open D string, back to A2, and then open D string once more, which gives you time to slide into your D chord. a minute and a half when it changes how sweet and wonderful life could be it's going to be eight beats of g one two three four five six seven back to the progression you're going to do that three times one two three four five six seven eight pretend that was the third time then it's going to be four beats g one two three, four beats E major, the one with the pointer finger on the G string, and then A for eight beats. Four, five, six, seven, eight, back into it. Can't stop. If you've got your fancy pants on during that part, you can include the little chromatic walk that happens. Coming out of your A. Just pluck your open A string, E string, fourth fret, into your G chord. You can do that fast, like I did it, and like it happens in this song, or you can give yourself more time. Like that. Also, during this section, some instruments sometimes play an F, which means you have free reign to play a G7 if you want. F is the note that makes G7, G7. One last thing, I want to show you something really cool about that progression at the end of part two, the G, E, A. The note of interest, of course, during G is G. And when we play E major, we've got a G sharp on the G string first fret. That's one of the reasons why you feel that lift that happens when he plays E. We've gone up a half step in one part of the chord anyways, and then when we hit A, we've of course got an A on the G string second fret. So contained in this chord progression is the melody. La, la, la. my bananas over chromatic stuff. You guys know that. But those are all the pieces. Enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.